Hi everyone, it's Sarah Blakely, the founder and CEO of Spanx. My top tips for being an entrepreneur, I would say one, what's your purpose? One of your greatest assets is staying connected to your why, your own personal, why are you doing this? What is the purpose behind it? And the bigger your why is, and if it goes beyond just you, the more courage you will find that you have. And the why for me is about elevating women. It was about uh, women not having the opportunity, my mom, my grandmother's not having the opportunity to fulfill their greatest potential and me wanting to make the most out of the potential I was given and then pay it forward and make sure women everywhere have the opportunity to also fulfill their greatest potential. The other thing about finding purpose and your why that's bigger than yourself is that it will sustain you through the ups and downs. I mean, 20 years later, I'm still involved in Spanx. I'm the owner of Spanx. And it's because my why is about elevating women. So on those tough days and those obstacles where you want to give up, it will keep you going. You have to be clear on why you're different. Businesses are usually started because someone created something that didn't already exist or they made something exponentially better. Either way, you have to be really clear in a concise way on why you're the best option. Why are you different? Ask the question, why? Why is something made that way? Why hasn't it evolved? What's different about it? Ask yourself, what's not working in your life? What are you frustrated with? There's your idea. There's your million dollar idea. Whatever you're frustrated with, there's a better solution. And why not you be the one to create it? Lead with your story. Story is so important. People get more connected to your story and don't leave that out. If it's just all about your product and not about the why behind it and the story, you will be leaving an enormous opportunity to deeply connect with your consumers and also your employees. Sell the problem you're solving, not the product. So many people focus on selling the product, but it's actually the problem that you're solving that customers will be so much more invested in. They will feel more emotionally connected to, and they will have a deeper appreciation for you, your brand, and what you're offering them. I um, used vulnerability in how I talked to the customer. I was one of them and I showed my own butt, a picture of my own butt in white pants with and without Spanx. Um, got it laminated at Kinko's and went out there. And I think the vulnerability that I showed from the very beginning is what connected women so deeply to this brand. Hire your weaknesses, know what you're good at right? You're the entrepreneur. You started this company. You're going to learn very quickly. What am I good at? What am I not good at? What do I enjoy? What don't I enjoy? And there's always a correlation between those two. Be willing to hire your weaknesses as soon as you can afford to. I identified early on my weakness was running the day-to-day -day operations was not my core strength and I needed an operator. I loved sales, I loved inventing the products, I loved being the face of the brand. So I was really eager to stay in those lanes and I needed to step aside. So I was hiring people as early as, you know, six months, a year into the business to help run the day-to-day -day operations of Spanx. As an entrepreneur, how to navigate the resources that you have and make the most of them is one of the biggest indicators of success. And then search and find and hire the best people you can find that complement your weaknesses. That's the best way for an entrepreneur to grow from idea to full blown company. Bonus tip, don't be afraid to make mistakes. <laughs> the worst thing that will happen is you will be memorable. The launch of the Red Backpack Fund was really in direct response to the pandemic and how women have been so disproportionately affected by this pandemic. And also the fact that women are only receiving 2.8% of VC funding. So I really wanted to step in. I wanted to offer some support and um, to even create a buffer during this really trying time for female business owners. So the Red Backpack Fund was a $5 million donation that I gave to 1,000 different women. And each woman was selected and given $5,000 each. And that is actually the amount of money that I used to start Spanx 20 years ago. And they were also each received a lucky red backpack. And the red backpack was my symbol and is my symbol still to this day 
of um, starting small, dreaming big, and that everything you really need is already right there on your back.